just to be clear, I am not saying that Taylor Swift has made a deal with the devil, but I'm also not not saying that she made a deal with the devil. That's right. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And I heard this and I just had to share it with everybody. Spread the word. Apparently this has been going on forever and I didn't know anything about it because I don't listen to Taylor Swift. So how would I know? How would I know the craziness that's going on? First we did a video on her feet and now it's gone full-blown witchcraft and Satan magic stuff. You know, only someone that famous could have sold their soul. And, and, you know, she writes all these songs about ex-boyfriends that she probably drains the blood from. Why? What do I know? I'm just a man with a skull in the background and ad ad in the corner and, you know, some Godzilla guys. What do I know? I know nothing (laughs) except what I'm about to show you. You prepare to go down this rabbit hole? I bet you not. Let's take a look and see. (laughs) TikTok is accusing... Taylor Swift are performing witchcraft on the Errors Tour. Errors Tour. Hmm. Apparently in 2020, she had some sort of song called Willow, which I guess has nothing to do with the movie Willow or the Disney Plus show Willow. More to have to do with witchcraft Willow. I don't know what's going on here, but she dresses up like a witch, and they start doing some sort of weird ritual. And I would totally wouldn't believe this. Except apparently there's video of it. And then some some other girl says, you know, Jesus and stuff. So let's let's take a look. Uh. Yes! Summon the demons! This is Taylor Swift's song, Willow. I feel like there were more words to that than just like, Yes, Queen! Summon the demons! Maybe he was like, summon the demons for brunch and biscuits. I don't know, man. (laughs) This is is a little much. Uh, So then this girl goes like, I don't know. She keeps talking about Jesus and stuff. But then she says that Taylor Swift responded to this person. Because I I guess they're verified. That's a verified Taylor Swift. Is this like the new one, two, three, let's go be, be honest. I don't even know what any of those things mean. And then she just laughs about it. So she's saying, like, summon the demons is supposed to be, like, her new catchphrase. Oh, summon the demons. Okay. But, I mean, they're clearly, like, I've seen other footage. Like, they're clearly doing some sort of weird witchcrafty thing. And, like, the whole, there's, like, a forest. The whole thing, like, burns. And, yeah, it's kind of strange. This is where... We'll we'll go to this article next. This these are all recent articles, so at least they're recent because we're gonna go even further back into the past, into the way back machine, and see exactly a little bit more. Uh, apparently, now it's like the biggest tour in the world, so of course it's gonna get criticism and stuff, right? Well, they're saying there's problematic witchcraft promotion and political antics. Well, all right then. Some concerts are known to be wild and dangerous. Uh, okay. You're going to have to explain that to me. Um, she, the total line, she plays 44 of her songs. What? That's, okay, that's a lot of songs. But people are uneasy with Willow because there's a cult-like dance and and then they, you know, whatever, man. Uh, so this is the National Review. So they're like... Think you know it's not a big deal. Like there's just costumes and technology, and it's cool, and it's not, it's not like trying to hypnotize people or nothing. Not at all. But then there's this. <laughs> this is from Mashable. Again, none of these theories are my theories. I think she's probably perfectly fine drinking. Gallons of adrenochrome and or chrome and virgin blood. I, I how would I know any of these things? <laughs> uh, she's accused of being a Satanist clone, and it totally checks out. Apparently, she's the clone of this woman, Zena Lavey, a Satanist. 
Well, all right then. Sure. She apparently has a uncanny resemblance to Zena Shrek, former high priestess of the Church of Satan. Well, all right. Did not know that. D- they're saying that she's a clone of the daughter of st- this lady. Well, all right then. I don't think they look the same, but maybe, you know, hey, all, a lot of people look the same, right? Sure thing. Whatever you have, whatever. Oh, geez. Uh, so, yeah, more pictures. Illuminati clone made from Satanist DNA. Yep. 1985, sure thing. Uh, okay, still going down. A lot of the videos connecting all this have been taken down. Clearly evidence of a conspiracy because people are shutting it down. You can't see anything, right? There is one more part of this that's that's a little strange. Hold on, let's keep going. Go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> I don't know. This is a meme from like a bajillion years ago, apparently. 2014, almost 10 years ago. This is a picture of my friend Becky. She used to be happy, popular girl, until one night she snorted marijuana at a party. She died instantly. Please don't do marijuana. It's the most dangerous drug out there. Please don't wind up like Becky. Pretty sure that's Taylor Swift. No, it's Becky. Okay. Now, apparently she acknowledged the meme, and she would no, it's Becky, Taylor Swift, 1989. Uh, so she's either in on the joke, or she's queen of the clones. Choice is yours, friends. The choice is yours. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's going on here. This is all madness in my mind. I have yet to come to any decisions about clones and or Taylor Swift this is. Maybe there's many of them. Who knows? Maybe you have inside information that I don't know. All I know is this goes back in the way back machine because not only were they annoyed with that 20, was it 2020 uh, video about the witchcrafty stuff, but back in 2013, the internet is forever, July 8th, Pittsburgh, Taylor Swift performed at Heinz Field for about 57,000 fans. Notice how her fan base has grown. It was 70,000 recently. Mm Mm-hmm. Interesting. He brought some posters to the concert, this gentleman, Joseph Jackson of Clarksburg, reading, I love you, Taylor Swift is with Satan. Proof is in the pudding. Apparently he was arrested for that. So this, I've never heard of this story either. So you tell me, Taylor Swift, bride of the devil, or clone of a devil lady, or just a witch, or she just performs music for a living, or she's a member of the Illuminati, or she was on Epstein Island. I don't know, but I think all of them are probably valid. Again, this is coming from a man speaking into a pickle rick, but I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you'd like to hear more of what we have to say, check out our podcast, Our Views Will Kill You, That can be heard on all things iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. You can also catch the live stream here on YouTube. I have linked it above me, so it is floating in the clouds. You can check it out for yourself. Come join us. We have giveaways, a lot of fun, a lot of goodness. Definitely more Taylor Swift stuff. Probably not, but maybe. You never know. But I am on to the next one.